agent, five AI agent use cases and templates. What is an AI agent? ChatGPT now has summarized a meeting. It is very hard. My new definition of work-life balance is I'm in Taipei because my grandparents live here, so whenever I'm in Asia, I will also come here to visit them. But I'm actually at Grand Hyatt, Taipei right now. I've never stayed here before. It's so beautiful. Plus, my boyfriend is flying in today. So I was like, you know what? We can make a little staycation. I think a year ago, both of us would have never done something like this so spontaneous. But now that I've worked in corporate for six years now, I have learned the importance of work-life balance. When you're in a job, it's easy to chase for the next promotion and do well. And oh, that sense of accomplishment. Yes, I still miss that but i do think there's something more than your job there is something called life my definition of work-life balance used to be okay i'll work really hard and then once i finish my work i will have fun before i can live my life i'm already burnt out <laughs> so my new definition of work-life balance is your work and your life should and can coexist how can i make my work more fun how can i make my life more interesting. What is something I want to learn? I think having that curious mindset, just like when you were a kid, the world is your oyster. You can find different ways to work. You can find different ways to play. And that's like the most freeing and most exciting feeling ever. Oh, okay. So I've been learning about AI agents since August. And one day I was scrolling on IG thread and I saw Daryl's post about his agent and I was like, wow, this guy is really good at building agents on NAN. So I reached out and it turned into a learning session that made the whole learning journey so, so fun. So Guess who's here? We're here in Taipei to play tennis. <laughs> the room is so nice. I think you can see Taipei 101 from here. So I know everyone is talking about AI these days, but I think to stay competitive, it's really important to understand the fundamentals of AI and specifically how to use these AI tools effectively. That's where Coursera comes in. Coursera is an online learning platform that offers thousands of courses from top universities and companies. But what I love the most is their wide range of AI-focused programs, and most of them are free. The first one I recommend is Google AI Essentials. This course is beginner-friendly and shows you how to use AI AI safely and effectively, from writing better prompts to automating everyday tasks. They just make learning AI super approachable and easy. Then there's Vanderbilt's Prompt Engineering for ChatGPT, which is all about getting the best results from AI. It's perfect if you want to go from confusing AI responses to results that really save your time. And since prompt engineering is becoming one of the top, most in-demand skills right now, I think it's also a great way to stand out in this job market. And if you want to get more hands-on with AI, DeepLearning.ai's building large language models lets you actually build mini AI-powered apps like chatbots or content generators without needing to be an advanced coder. These skills are in huge demand right now, and they're super practical whether you're a student, a professional, or just curious about AI like me. So if you've been waiting for the right time to learn AI, the time is now, and Coursera is a great place to start. You can enroll today in the free programs with my link in the description box. We're gonna go play tennis in Taipei. It's so hot, so luckily we pulled a 8 p.m. session. We found this place called Taipei Tennis Court. It's my favorite place in Asia. Your tennis essential vlog. Bokari. <laughs> Fresh can of balls. <laughs> Guess what? Got my new racket! Oh, yeah. This is so pretty. Albert did the overgrip for me. And then look at this like little... Dampener. Yeah, so cute. This one is Yonex E100L. It's a light version for girls and beginners. Look at my fit today with my new racket. We're picking a lot of balls. 13 lessons. 
I remember there's this visual that basically says inspiration comes from doing. After my first meeting with Daryl, Daryl was like, wait, what if I bring in my friend Vicky in too? So Daryl is an AI agent expert. He specializes in building agents on an AN platform and he mostly works with businesses to optimize their operations through large scale, really complex AI agents. And Vicky has been experimenting with AI and AI agent for career growth and job hunting, interviews, etc. to make the whole process more automated. So together, Daryl, Vicky, and I, we built five AI agents. And I want to share my definition of AI agent and then the five AI agent use cases that I've built with my internet friends. So what is an AI agent? In the simplest way, you can visualize it as ChatGP is a brain. When you talk to it, it will talk back at you. But now AI agent is as if ChatGPT now has arms and legs. So it can do things for you. For instance, it can go into your Gmail to grab your emails, it can go into your Google Doc to summarize a meeting, or it can go into your Google Sheet to update a spreadsheet all on its own and all at once together. So the first use case is this meeting assistant built by me. So if I tell my agent to create a meeting, let's say with my therapist, it will open my calendar, check my availability, set up the event, add the attendance, send the invite, and send me a confirmation email. And if the agent sees that I have conflicts, then it will send me a few options and I just need to tell it what's the best time for me. The second use case is LinkedIn Job Search Assistant by Vicky. Since she's been exploring how AI can help in job hunting, this AI agent scrapes LinkedIn job posts, filters the ones that match her keywords, then uses AI to generate tailored resumes and then saves all these resumes very neatly in a Google Sheet. It's basically like her own running recruiter running the background. And by the way, we've linked all of our AI agent template that we talked about here in the description. So you can just start building your own AI agent as well. So the third use case is daily news update by Daryl. So every morning, the AI agent scrapes a few new sites, summarizes the top headlines and emails him a digest. Instead of doom scrolling for 30 minutes, he can start his day with a two minute update on the news. Use case four is an invoice assistant by me. So let's say if I work with brands, then I'll need to send the brands an invoice. So now this agent takes my Google doc invoice template, updates all the details and the fields, then send it to the brand via email then it will also send me a confirmation email. That way I don't need to manually update my invoice every time when I work with brands. Use case five is a receipt scanner for financial tracking by Daryl. So imagine traveling abroad and photographing your foreign receipts and it will automatically translate to English on what you bought and turn it into an expense data on Google Sheet. So yeah, those are the five use cases. And TMI for my next video, I kind of want to talk about how do you actually get started on building your first AI agent, which platform to use, onboarding, and how can I build an agent without any coding experiences? Because it took me a few weeks to figure all that out. But if you're interested, comment the word AI agent. Let me know in the comments since this is the only way for me to know your interest and your feedback. And again, we've linked all the actual AI agent workflow templates that you saw earlier in the description so you can grab them and start playing around with it. And Daryl, Vicky, if you're watching this, thank you guys so much. I think if there's anything I've learned from this, it's actually not about building the AI agent. It's that like finding people to do things with you and make learning more fun is so rewarding. Like I thought that I couldn't build an agent myself. I was like, oh my God, like this is scary. Like, I don't think I'll ever figure it out. But then once I started reaching out to people, like they were strangers, never met them before, but we became really good friends. And I was like, oh my God, like there is so many different ways to learning and there's so many different ways to work and through it all, you find more ways to play and more ways to work. Good morning. I'm back in my home in Vietnam. Look. This is my dog, Kopi. In case you didn't know, I actually lived in Vietnam for middle school and high school and I went to an international school here. So every time when I come back to Asia, I will also come to my home in Vietnam. Tea 
TMI, but this is my script for the AI agent lesson segment you just saw earlier. Even a three minute segment can take me a week to write. Thinking about the sentence structure, making it simple, down to choosing the aesthetic, it's a lot, but hey, you know you've really learned something when you can teach it to others. This is my 15th lesson. My dad bought me this wristband because he was like, hey, I read that your forearm might be sore. And I, it makes me realize when you choose to show up, the world will meet you halfway. I'm gonna stop you. Uh, I'm writing, I was writing down feedback, so. I think great, but it's a little bit over explanation. I, I want to keep it tight. That's what everyone said. Start with the goal of this project is blah blah, as you can see at the top in gray box. So you're direct. And accentuate your arm back. And inhale. Just a little bit. Feeling your back lower and lower, and hands up over your head and make a circle. And hands onto your belly and inhale. Kind of relax your shoulders. And exhale with your. Okay, so when you lift, okay, go down. Steps really took the form of. Helping us understand and create our competitive benchmarking data set. This is, and both of these steps really took the form of helping us understand and create our. This was my last tennis wait, lesson in Vietnam, wait, wait. and it marked my 18th lesson. I'm finally playing with more speed. If there's anything I've learned from playing tennis the past few months, it's really just about showing up every day, sweating it in the core, because time is the only way we see progress. I'm flying back to New York now. Oh, if you have seen my videos before, you know every time, every time when I say bye to my family, I cry. It's been 10 years of me doing this, but I just want to say for those of you who are also like me, if you're studying abroad, working abroad, I'm so proud of you and like, you're so strong and I know your family is so proud of you too. You should be really proud of yourself because it's not easy, but you got this, you got this.